Looks like the scum are making house calls. Welcome back to Operation Pixel. Plasma cannon. Ooh, I should invent a plasma cannon technique. Someone on the ground is locked onto us. <coughs> References. Yep. I feel if like you, if you hadn't watched Orochimaru <laughs> Sensei yet, it's, it's not worth it. Don't bother. Um. No, we kind of had a following on that though. Somewhat. Well, it actually has a fair number of views. I don't remember how many it's at now. It's over nine thousand. Was it over 9,000? It might yeah, actually it, be... Oh, like, way over 9,000 now. Yeah, it might have been, like, 20 or 30,000 or something, but... I don't know, like, it is really weird to think about that many people watching my piece of crap cartoon. <laughs> oh, but actually, man. I remember people actually subscribing because they liked it. Yeah, no, a lot of people were like, hey, make more! And I was like, oh, jeez, I don't want to be the guy who makes Naruto parody cartoons. <laughs> But uh, maybe we can give them a, a notice, or like a notice video, saying, hey, we kind of started this, and we'll probably be doing this now. Yeah, maybe. Because I know you're you're trying to do some um, other animations. Yeah, I'm trying to get back into cartoons. So it'll probably be a few cartoons on this at one point, um, right? I'll probably put them on my own personal channel. What? I want to keep, I want to keep Operation Pixel, like, centered around gaming. So if I ever end up doing, like, the Twitch streaming, because I was talking about doing some Twitch streaming at some point, like, doing RPGs. Yeah. Because they wouldn't work well in, like, an episodic format. Yeah. Um, and I still want to play RPGs because they're some of my favorite games. Uh, the thing is that they, they wouldn't work for Operation Pixel. But the thing is that, um, usually you can save out. Like, I could record the video and stream it. And then that way maybe I could trim it up or something and just get highlights or something and just, like... And then I'd post that on Operation Pixel because it's still a game-related video. Yeah. Um, I just thought, like, it'd be nice to sort of, like, try to brand Ootman as an animation, a, a, you know, a place for animation. Okay. Um, and keep Operation Pixel... Ootimation. Specifically for gaming. Ootflix. Yeah. Ootflix. Ootimation. I'm still trying to figure out how to, how to, how to best brand it, but, um... I like Ootflix. Yeah, that's, Oot that's pretty great. Ootflix is sort of fun to say. Uh, so we'll see what happens. I'm not even sure... Flash. <laughs> well, don't be followed. Fly worry, better. They're just, they're just missiles. No big. Fly better. <laughs> You're a bird. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to bring his race into this. You're a bird. Fly better. <laughs> Fox, these guys are all over me. Get rid of them. Jeez. You know what would be fun if they made, like, a Star Fox game? Except, like... It was almost like Fire Emblem. I mean, like, you still fly and stuff, right? Yeah. But it's Fire Emblem in the sense that you can, like, pick up crew members, and they have, like, different skills and attributes or something like that. Uh-huh. And so you could get people like Fox, or Falco, who may be, like, good at flying, uh, but maybe they're terrible at, like, ground missions or terrible underwater in the submarine battles or something. Um, so you start picking up crew members who are, like, have these different skills and abilities, and then you, like, get a mole person and, like, a pig person. And a mole? Yeah, a mole. Where'd you get mole? I don't know. I was just trying to think of something that would go underground instead of fly. So something that would be terrible at flying. Uh. I don't know okay. what else. What else would be terrible at flying? Um, fish. I mean, sure, but we already got Slippy, who's a frog. They're amphibians, so they're kind of close. To I don't know. What a snake? Yeah, snake would be kind of funny. But yeah, just... snake, snake in power armor. <laughs> It'd be like Arthur <laughs> <Mark> Jim. <laughs> that'd actually be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that'd be kind of fun, I think. Just having it so you can, you can sort of assemble the team of, of your favorite characters. They all use generic dialogue anyways, so, yeah. for the most part. Besides just, these story events. You don't even really think of a need a fancy name, just like... My name is Python. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> and they just think of a funky last name, like... Python McDougal. <laughs> oh, what's what's that generic um, Spanish last name? Rodriguez. Yeah, Python Rodriguez. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not really a generic uh, Spanish name, but it gets used a lot because it sounds good in <laughs> Spanish. Actually, uh, a lot of lot. I know a lot of like. There's a lot of Rodriguez. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, e even in baseball itself. <laughs> Like, there's a lot of Rodriguez. I know Alex Rodriguez. He used to be a Mariner. We grew up in Seattle, yeah. so... 
And then he betrayed us. <laughs> he kind of became a turkey. Did he? He's like the highest paid player of baseball. Let's see. Like, of all time. Not good for him. No. Unless he's a terrible he's person. Got, he's got an attitude. Oh, okay. Then maybe not good for him. Like, he's got the cocky. Like, I'm the best and everybody should pay me. Oh, right. This is the one where you have to bomb him. Yeah. Trying to make it so I can... Nice. I, was, I knew they were going to hit hit the the creatures. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, out. yeah. Got to get a clear shot. Oh, there's. Uh, lasers? lasers? Lasers. Nice. Your favorite. Ah, uh, no. <clears throat> My necessity. <laughs> it's true. Ah! That's it. It's Oh, I got it. Yep. If you missed the uh, Star Fox 64 playthrough, uh, somewhere around episode 8, I think, uh, Ark loses his lasers. And, and I got basically screwed over. Proceeds to die repeatedly. Because he can't play the game without lasers. I was... I was... I was... I was... <laughs> You were frustrated. I, I, I was so depressed with myself. Yeah. That, I, that, that, that happened. You'd rocked the entire game, and then you lost your lasers, and then it was just like... I got cocky. along the ground there. You're like pushing your truck down the highway. I, I should have listened to, to uh, Wolf. Don't get cocky, Fox. <laughs> he does give you the best advice. Your best Can't let friend. you do that, Fox. That's become such a uh, internet thing. That's yeah, a lot can't of let you do that, Star Fox. I think like a lot of the lines in like oh, that's such a fake Borealis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, yeah. it looks like an amoeba like wiggling around on the screen. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of important. And he sounds like oh, such a, like, a stereotypical now, fat trucker voice too. Well, he sounds like a stereotypical cartoon pig trucker voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, well... I guess, I guess since we're playing through, I might as well not just else. tell you. Oh, sure. I won't, I mean. Oh, okay. Like, I mean, since we're playing through. Yes, we'll, we'll find out what happens. He's gonna become a bug pig. Do we, uh, we got time to start another one? Yeah, go for it, man. Pigman's trail leads to this area. Place to run to. They do have some pretty uh, expressive emotion, uh, pretty extreme <clears throat> hand gestures. So, is this like yeah. an amusement park to a former gang member? You know it. Oh, <laughs> this time we'll get that core memory. Yeah, they're very expressive. Oh, I think I accidentally pushed a button. I wish they were more like, yeah, whatever. Oh no! I'm looking, I'm looking at my wave bird. Look at that. It's. Oh, your know. controller. It's got slight damage. God, I've had this thing so long. Flying. Yay, flying mission! Your favorite! I still feel like they were better in the 64 one from what little I played of it. But, uh. It is definitely much more solid gameplay than the ground missions. Keep your guards up, team. Um, did you ever play the six, any SNES one? I did not. That was basically the 64 one. Yeah, that's, on. that's that's what I've heard, is that the 64 was, was sort of like a... Uh, almost like a port of the SNES one. I mean, obviously with much better graphics and stuff, but it was the same sort of deal. Uh, did you ever hear about the Star Fox 2 that was supposed to come out? Uh, no. Um, I'm guessing that would have been a long time ago now. Well, for SNES. Ah. Then maybe, maybe I did hear, maybe maybe you told me about it at some point, but I don't remember. Uh, but apparently there was supposedly Star Fox 2, yep. but um, it got cancelled or something. That's I think they were trying to to um, want to work on the uh, the 64 version. Uh-huh. And focus everything on that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, they, yeah, they, um, they stopped production on it, and everything that I've seen of it it looks like whoa it looks like the new Star Fox Zero uh, I don't know anything about that one either um, well you could transform your uh, R wing into a walker like 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 a, like, like like a, a Star Wars yeah like a Star two -legged Wars chicken yes, walker yes thing? yes oh weird in the SNES version 
and every, uh, some of the stuff they've been advertising in Star Fox. What are these things? I'm not sure. Like space jellyfish. Um, but yeah, you can chant transform your Arwing into a chicken walker. Huh. And I'm like, ah, uh, that was like in SNES days. <laughs> and well, I, don't, I don't know about... Like, I, I, I'm I, starting to feel like Star Fox was kind of a one-hit wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like the thing is that there's no reason why they couldn't continue what it started. The problem is that, like, they're trying to do a whole bunch of different things with it, and nothing new that they've tried has really worked for it. Because, like, Star Fox Adventures was apparently an RPG, and everybody wasn't happy with it. And then, uh, Star Fox Assault here is sort of like... You know, it's so far been mostly ground missions. Um... Which I feel like the controls could be a lot better in. This is the asteroid belt level that you played. Yeah. You're gonna get hit. Use your the flying levels still work pretty well here in the Yeah, assault. but it's still the same. This is for helping yeah, but like, at least it works. And it controls fairly well. And but... Like, I mean, like, the game mostly comes from the adventure and the bosses. Um, so I feel like the problem with this is that almost that, like, it put too much emphasis on story. And not enough on, like, adventuring. Like, if you could, like, just fly through these missions and pick your paths and find secrets and stuff like that, it would still be cool. Yeah. Oh, blue um, lasers. The thing is that, yeah. Well, that's, that's also why I was saying about, like, if you could, like, sort of assemble your own mercenary crew, right? Uh-huh. So that, that way you can, like, find other members that you want to recruit and be like, Oh, dude, I just met this moose guy and he is awesome. A <laughs> moose? Yeah, dude! <laughs> recruit the moose! Get a crab? That, get that, a crab on your team? That sounds awesome. Right? Recruit the moose. <laughs> and then you have, like, your your ultimate squad of, of mercenaries with your, your moose people and your crab people. And... Oh, okay. You know, whatever else, right? Um, and Recruit then you just... the moose. That sounds like, a, like, a, <laughs> like an energy drink slogan or something. Recruit the moose. I feel like that'd make a great, a great uh, uh, t-shirt. That would recruit the moose, and everyone would be like, "What does that even mean?" <laughs> you give me three seconds. Nice. Um. But yeah, so I mean, like, I feel like that's the problem here, right? Is that this game is very linear compared to like, whereas the last one was very like, you know, do what you Whoa. want as long as you make it to the final boss and blow him up, right? Yeah. So. <clears throat> I don't know. Can I destroy those? It's, it's sort of a matter of, like, design theory, I guess, at that point. I guess point. not. Uh, it could be that if they're basically taking the design for, um... Like, is, is Star Fox Zero, you said? Yes. Is that not out yet? No. Okay, so that's just recently been announced, then. No, it was announced last year, but it but, keeps getting I mean, delayed. Like, like, you know, it's, it's still on the way, in theory. Supposedly. Um, and if it's based off the SNES's, like, Star Fox 2 then it's quite possible they're like, you know, we still have the design documents for Star Fox 2 back when we knew what we were doing, how to do it well. Um, maybe we should just dig that up and see if we can't make it new. Yeah. Um, maybe. So maybe they're trying to just take it back to where it was. Oh. Interesting. So, so this is how Pigma dies, I guess. Uh, he's getting assimilated. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, What's Get his right name? Andrew. Face. Andrew died already. Whoa. What is that thing? It's the second to final boss. The tentacle thing that I was referencing. Like gone. Oh. See, it's the same boss. Just a little different. Huh. That looks really creepy. Yeah, it does actually. But look at that. It's, it's a t the tentacle face plate thing. Fox, the core that huh. It is a lot like the the one from 64, isn't it? Yeah. It closes its face and everything. Alright, well, we're gonna beat it up next time on Operation Pixel.